The hospital corridors echoed with the sound of hurried footsteps as medical personnel rushed the mutilated body into the emergency room. Detective Jake Harrison followed closely behind, his mind reeling with questions and fears. What had caused such horrific mutations, and what connection did it have to the disappearances in Miller's Hollow? As doctors and nurses worked frantically to stabilize the patient, Jake stood outside the room, his gaze fixed on the closed door. He barely noticed when a group of military personnel arrived, their uniforms crisp and their expressions grave. One of them approached Jake, his eyes cold and calculating. I'm Colonel Carter, he said, extending a hand. We're here to investigate the situation. Is the patient stable? Jake nodded, his throat dry. For now, but we don't know what we're dealing with. Colonel Carter frowned, his brow furrowing with concern. We need to know everything you do, detective. Lives are at stake. As Jake began to recount the events of the previous night, his words were interrupted by a sudden commotion from inside the emergency room. He rushed inside to find doctors and nurses scrambling to contain the patient, whose body convulsed with violent spasms. What's happening? Jake demanded, his heart pounding in his chest. One of the nurses turned to him, her face pale with fear. I don't know, detective. His vitals are off the charts he's burning up from the inside. Before Jake could respond, the patient let out a blood-curdling scream, his body contorting in agony. And then, with a sickening crunch, something burst from his chest, a writhing mass of tentacles and teeth, pulsating with a sinister energy. Jake staggered back, his mind reeling with horror. Whatever had taken root inside the patient was not of this world, and if they couldn't contain it, the consequences would be catastrophic. Meanwhile, in another part of town, a young woman stirred from unconsciousness, her head throbbing with pain. She found herself in a dimly lit basement, the air thick with the stench of decay. As her vision cleared, she saw the nightmarish figure looming over her a genistealer, its alien features twisted into a grotesque parody of humanity. It grinned hungrily as it reached out with clawed hands, its touch sending shivers of revulsion down her spine. With a surge of terror, the woman fought back, struggling against the creature's grasp. But it was no use the genistealer was too strong, its will too relentless. And then, just as she thought all hope was lost, darkness descended upon her, dragging her down into the depths of oblivion. When she woke, it was to a world transformed a world where the streets of Miller's hollow pulsed with an otherworldly energy, and the shadows whispered secrets too terrible to comprehend. With a newfound sense of purpose, the woman prowled the streets, her mind consumed by a single, insatiable urge, to capture more victims, to bring them back to the hive. And as she moved through the darkness, her eyes glowed with a malevolent light, her humanity slipping away with each passing moment. For in the heart of Miller's hollow, something ancient and evil stirred a force beyond comprehension, a darkness that hungered for the souls of the innocent. And as the night stretched on, Detective Jake Harrison knew that the nightmare was far from over. In fact, it had only just begun.